All right. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the new arrivals. I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing what this body can achieve on behalf of the Las Cruces community. Uh, my name is William Gilman. I've been a resident of Las Cruces for three years. Uh, my wife and I just had our first baby, and we're going to be raising her here. Super excited. It's been really fun. Uh, I've been self-employed for the last two years, and uh, just this month, I'm going to be renting, beginning renting some office space on Main Street. So I'm pretty invested in the future of our community. Um, so, as we all know, Las Cruces is facing a lot of uh, challenges, and we are not the only city that is facing those problems. We have high numbers of homeless people in our community, where there's an increase in property crime, vandalism, and uh, substance abuse and overdose. And uh, it's really sad to see. Uh, and the, these issues are often interrelated, and there are no easy answers. Um, Historically, at city council meetings and uh, uh, county meetings, there's a lot of voices demanding that our politicians hurry up and arrest more people and incarcerate them for longer and have stronger penalties. Um, but these, like, as understandable as that might be, you know, these issues have been going on for decades in our country and we have compassion fatigue. Uh, this is just a Band-Aid and we can't afford to just keep Band-Aiding the situation and kicking the can down the road. There are real solutions out there, and Las Cruces has already made progress on some of them. And so rather than kicking the can down the road, we should be investing these tax dollars in supporting people to get back on their feet and get rehabilitated. We can look at evidence from other cities. We can look at evidence from the Veterans Administration on what they're doing about homelessness. There are lots and lots of resources out there that this body should be drawing on and pursuing those solutions. As I said, Las Cruces has already made a lot of progress in this regard. The effort to revitalize the Main Street Corridor and have events there is an evidence-based solution to get more people there, have the community feel like they own that space more, makes it safer, makes it more inviting, and works well for businesses. Uh, things like that. We need to double down and invest more on that. So if we merely arrest and incarcerate a person, they are going to be just as homeless as they were whether they're released in two days or two years or five years. Obviously, there are a lot of other crimes that go along with that, or rather, there's a, a, as I said, a lot of overlap between homelessness, drug abuse, crime, vandalism, et cetera, but the point is that we can't really afford to keep band-aiding the situation. We really need real solutions, and real solutions take time, they take money, and they don't always work perfectly, so they are not easy to implement. It takes real leadership to implement real solutions, and that's what I expect to see from this body that's assembled here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, and congratulations on your baby. <laughs>